Hello! So, uh, if you're new to my channel, my name's Emma, I'm from Australia and I've been living in Japan now for almost seven months. I live in a really small apartment in Japan and I did an apartment tour ages and ages ago when I first moved in here and I thought that I'd do an update because when I first did the video I hadn't bought that much stuff, I was just like just settling in so it kind of looked a bit drab. I've changed a few things, just added a little bit of a, a homely feeling and I thought that I would just you know, update you guys and show you what I've done with the really limited amount of space that I have. For anyone who wants to know, my apartment is 8 square meters, uh, and I can touch both walls. So right now I'm touching both walls, <laughs> you can't really see this arm. It is a one person apartment, so I am not sharing with anyone, this is all my space, thank you, universe, because I don't like sharing with people. It comes with a kitchen, a bathroom, a loft where my bed is, and... A living space. There are some frequently asked questions from the other video that I actually want to address at the end of this video. So like how much I pay for this place, um, why I'm paying that amount. <laughs> I'll address that at the end of this video. But I want to show you my cool house. Let's go! Okay, the first place we're going to start is the Genkan. So this is the um, entry. Actually, no, stop, stop, stop. No, don't want to show you my dirty rubbish. It's not bin day, so I like the trash is full and I don't want to show that to you. I mean, just just imagine that there is trash there. As I was saying, this is the Genkan. So this is where you take off your shoes. That's my dirty laundry as well. This is not going well. And a small closet to the side. Over here, I just have a decorative plant that is normally outside because uh, it would die if it was normally here. But like if I have friends over, like you guys, I'm going to put it here because it's quite sweet. Tissue box, keys for my bicycle, keys for my house and my laundry detergent, so that's pretty exciting. There are some shoes in here. I have four pairs of shoes in here. But yeah, there's like, yeah, racks, and I just put my shoes on top. Now just over here, there is uh, just the, the hoover, or the vacuum cleaner, whatever you call it, some bags, and my umbrella that I use. So just a little storage space. So I've got um, a concert ticket, I'm going to see Enter Shikari, if anyone knows who that is. <laughs> Might not be your kind of style. So they're held up by mushroom magnets, which are not the greatest design, but they're really cute. And then I've got my how to throw my trash away list on where the trash goes and everything. Next up we have just uh, the cooking appliances. So I've got my tiny little toaster oven here. Uh, it's got a little tray. It's dirty. I've tried soaking it in Coca-Cola, um, but I need a, a more hardcore cleaner because there's just some stains that won't come out. And then I've got my microwave here, it's kind of self-explanatory. I've got all my dishes down here and frying pans and cutlery. This drawer is for important stuff. You know, if something comes in the mail I can't read it because it's in Japanese, I put it in here and I forget about it. So that's the, the drawer that we don't open. Um, here is, I'm not going to open that, that is also just a bunch of stuff. Like cleaning products, things, <laughs> it's just stuff in there. I'll just quickly show you the area that I've been talking about this what it looks like from my point of view so yeah this this is the area that I'm talking about just so you get a good idea of the size yeah okay anyway back to over here up here is a hat and bag rack so I've just got you know big hats caps uh, and the two bags that I use every day and here is just uh, I don't know random stuff <laughs> got a picture of a friend there um, my hand soap which, if you've seen the first video, that's that's still there. I dropped it once, but it hasn't cracked, which is great. Um, and just little trinkets, like... I've got this tiny little Eevee. Don't think it'll focus, but it's an Eevee in a cup, which is very cute. Uh, a tiny spoon, a good etama, and this tiny little mouse. Look at this little mouse. Isn't it small? <laughs> it's so small. <laughs> Oh, also, my friend made me that bunny, you're probably wondering. Uh, my friend Mika, she made me that bunny for the Kyari Pamu Pamu concert, so yeah. Thanks Mika! And down here is where I keep my yoga mat when I do my exercises in the morning, so I just keep it there. Okay, so this is the rest of my house other than the loft upstairs. Yeah, so this is it. Here is where the magic happens, aka all the editing, all the YouTube surfing, all the good times. So I just sit here to do my work. This is my favourite mug, it's Gigi from uh, Kiki's Delivery Service. Up here I've got my Sakura liqueur, um, I've got like a little air plant. Up here I've got my little Marimo balls, so they're just like little water plants that I keep up there. I've got my Japanese study here and my diary and pencils and pens and stuff. Underneath here I keep my mirror, 
So in the morning, I take out that mirror and I put it like on the table and do my makeup and watch YouTube. So it's really easy. But yeah, this little ball here, this little ball, uh, <laughs> it's kind of ugly, but I made it. If you've seen any of my past videos, there was um, an episode where I got a tiny tree and it was really cute and I loved it to pieces. It just wasn't happy. I really, really tried to keep it alive. It's still outside. I'm trying to resuscitate it, but I had to uh, take it all apart. And so this is the moss from that tree and I'm trying to keep this guy alive. Maybe I'm just not good at taking care of plants. I don't know. So this is my bathroom. Uh, if you haven't seen the first video, you might be wondering, where is my toilet? And honestly, when I moved in here, I was so confused because I couldn't find the toilet and I just didn't know if there was a toilet. I was really worried that there was like a, a public toilet. So what you do is you just grab the sink and you pull it out and ta-da! There is the toilet. <laughs> so it's quite fun and it's quite nice because you don't have to, you know, with such a small space, you don't actually have to look at your toilet very often. It's always kind of hidden unless you need it. So. Thanks, hidden sci-fi UFO toilet. One problem that I've encountered in this place is that drain there. Japanese drains are very interesting. Um, maybe it's because Japanese people don't lose so much hair, but anything that goes in there will not go down this tiny little drain that's in there. Let me tell you the story of the drain. When I first moved in, the drain, like, I didn't know that there was a drain underneath there. I just assumed it was, you know, like a normal drain. So I just lived my life, never looked underneath that little piece, and I started to smell something it started to get a bit stinky and all these tiny flies kept turning up and i was like how are these flies getting in here where are these flies coming from and they would just get more and more and more and i didn't know where it was coming from and then one day i realized i'm like oh it's coming from the drain and so i opened it and if anyone's squeamish look away now but this is what the drain looked like when i opened it was one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen. Me and my friends, we call it, um, uh, uh, I'll use a better word, Satan's butthole. <laughs> like we found Satan's butthole. This is what it looked like afterwards. So it can be a normal, uh, a normal drain, but it does build up quite fast. And so I have to clean it very regularly. The reason I'm not showing you it now is because it's been about three days since I last cleaned it. So I don't know what it's gonna look like. I'll show you my little air plant that I keep up here. When I first got him, he was very small, so he's actually very happy. Look at him, he's so happy. And I take him outside for sunlight sometimes, but he likes to crawl up the, uh, the shampoo, so that's fun. So it's just basic. I've got um, stuff up there like um, shaving cream, contact lenses, moisturizer, face mask, makeup remover, all that kind of stuff. Perfume, which I never wear, even though I should, because I stanky. <laughs> Here's me. Hey guys. Uh, yes, yeah, so there's a mirror here, towel here for wiping hands, my toilet brush and toilet cleaner's there. It smells like mint, which is interesting, and my toilet paper smells like roses. And so, this is a very interesting smelling area, <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, here's my air plant, shampoo, conditioner, razor, retainer, tooth, hand wash stuff, and there's my shower head. So, also on the ground I have these little slippers because it gets so wet in here I can just put these on and not get my feet wet and it's super easy and then I can just close it like that all right so this is the main area I like to keep it as clean as possible so no things anywhere if that makes sense the only thing I'm not happy with is all these cords because I haven't really found a way to put them away or anything because this is where I like this is like my charging station so I charge like my camera my big camera my extra battery my Mac so yeah uh, that's kind of like the cord area which I'm not the happiest with but everything else this is where I do my stretches do exercise do dancing all that kind of stuff anything that requires space this is this is the big bit yeah it's I can I can touch both both sides <laughs> very easily. So that's totally fine except when I want to you know stretch my arms when dancing. Also if I want to stretch my arms upwards I have to be careful because there's these bars here so I can't hit those but I do like them because you can do a chin up. One chin up because I can't do more. <laughs> I think I could do more if I did my very best. That's my little chair by the way. Um, I haven't used it in a while for various reasons, but this is quite nice to just sit 
and chill out. And I have a view of my garden from here, so it's, um, yeah, nice. A lot of people in the old videos uh, of me making food and stuff say, oh, I should get a little table. So I did. I have this little fold-out table from Ikea. And it can fit underneath my, over the top of my legs. Like that. Which is awesome, but I never use it. This thing's an air plant. Um, it's going brown in the middle, and I don't know why. Does anyone know why? It's going a bit grey and brown, so I'm wondering what I'm doing wrong. I give it a, a spray, and I give it a little bit of sun, so... Yeah, I don't know. I'm going so British! Get out of British. Go back to Aussie. Yeah, yeah, righto, yeah, yeah. If you don't know, my parents are British. I'm Australian. Accent goes all over the place sometimes. Sorry about that. Today I'm British, I guess. Not sure why. What have I done to be British? Anyway. And this is my tiny kitchen. It is a small one. <laughs> but it's good. It's good. Because there's no bench space, I managed to find a chopping board which actually fits over the sink. So when I cut things, I just do it on here. It's quite stable. Really easy. So that has been a huge, biggest help of my life. It's been awesome. And I've got one stove top so I cook with a frying pan or a pot over there. He's very happy, he's got three little leaves, a little Pikmin in there. Yeah, grape scented washing up liquid and a sponge. This is where I drag my dishes, um, just kind of... People keep saying um, when I cook things I should put them up there, but usually that is full of drying up, so uh, I, I don't have any space there normally. This I just clean it for videos, because <laughs> I don't want to be a mess. Now before you all say, Emma, you've got MSG. It's not MSG. I accidentally bought MSG. Uh, the packet is MSG, but I put salt in there instead. I don't like MSG and it's quite bad for you. So that is table salt, do not worry. I just like the panda packaging. For cherry blossom jam, I've got some cherry blossom jam. And this stuff is amazing. This is yuzu honey, so it's got actual yuzu puree in it, I think. A Japanese citrus and honey, and it is so good. Oh my goodness. And then I've just got random things like honey, mirin, shoyu, uh, soy sauce. Sauce, 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 sauce. That's all like condiments and stuff. So down here is just a cupboard. It's really messy in here. I apologize, but it's just like um, rice, chips, sugar, flour, different sugar that I bought by accident, chia seeds, utensils, knives, easy. Um, here I just managed to get magnets, so I've got all my little puri kura on there, my little Japanese photos. It's super cute. So. Um, this is my little fridge, uh, right now I've got bananas, meat, tofu, uh, leeks, carrots, broccoli, and there's a little freezer there. If it's on level 1, the water drips down there because it's too warm, if it's on level 2, it's too cold and this all freezes over, so it's an interesting design. <laughs> I got soy milk, tomato ketchup, butter, lemon, cool. I can only buy a few meals at a time because the fridge space is so small, but it helps me not waste so much food by throwing it out, so that's good. This is the town bell. Yay. Oh my garden's in a bit of a state. I should not be showing you this. But this is my garden. Um, this guy's growing a lot and he's growing little flowers as well. That's the tree that used to be. It's in recovery. I've got this guy from Sam in Tokyo because her it was struggling so I'm starting to perk back up and we'll give it a bit of a plant hospital kind of thing. And this guy grew from a cutting. I've got my clothesline there, some broken umbrellas there that I need to throw out. Um, and this is my bicycle. If you sit on it, it will break because I can't put it together properly because the instructions are in Japanese so I'm in a bit of a pickle at the moment but I'll, I'll get it working I'll put it together properly soon oh, also this is my mat I just um, got two pieces of astroturf so yeah not that exciting out here that's the family let's go back in I have these things now so this just stores all my makeup and earrings and jewelry and stuff I just take that drawer put it up on my desk and use it for makeup so super easy that's all like deodorant, moisturizer, sunblock, hair treatment, soap kind of stuff, magnesium. Up here I put my hair, hair brushes and hair straightener and hair dryer, so I just pull them out when I use them. Here I've got the chest of drawers that I bought from Nitori, it's like a, uh, 
a furniture shop in Japan, so just in the morning, pull it out, take my pants out, put them on, move my body. Um, that's my ukulele. I get scared to play it because I don't want to upset my neighbours, but that's my ukulele. I'm getting better. I just wish I could play more without feeling bad about playing it. This is my ladder. And da 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 da. Oh, it's a bit dark. I'll put on the lamp that I bought. This is my bedroom. It's got a futon and a blanket, so the Japanese map. Oh, the hair tie. That was a surprise. Get on my wrist. Ha ha ha. Futon, blanket. Uh, these are real akumas. They're a type of Japanese character bear here in Japan. So I sleep with them. They're my friends. I just got. Uh, I bought a lamp, which is awesome. It gives it a more of a, a warm light because without the lamp. It's kind of like gross, so <laughs> I like the the warmth of the lamp over here. For those wondering, yes, I still have my tiny chair, <laughs> but now I've got a tiny little air plant too. I'll just put water here at night so I can drink, and I've got Japanese study books, DS charger, lip balm, all that fun stuff. When I lie down, it is like this, and I just chill. But yeah, so this is where I sleep at night, and yeah. Okay, let's go back downstairs and I'll tell you some information about this place. Let's go! The question that I get asked the most on the other video is how much are you paying? So I pay 69,000 yen a month to stay here. And I know that sounds like a lot. It definitely is a lot of money. But there are a few reasons why I'm staying here. They are English friendly, I'm close to the Yamanote line, uh, there's no guarantee needed, it's month to month contracts, all utilities and Wi-Fi are included in the price. Uh, is that everything? Hold on, I wrote a list. <laughs> it's in a good neighbourhood and no key money. And yeah, my visa, my visa, that's so passionate, my visa. The visa I'm on is a working holiday visa, so it's six months at a time. I can be here for a year and six months on this visa, but I have to renew my visa every six months, which can be a hassle. That's another story. Many places only do leases for two years, or some places do one year, but because my visa only says six months, it's been a bit difficult to find, uh, you know, housing, phone, all that kind of stuff. So this place, doing month-to-month -month contracts, is super easy. Also, a reason that I picked this place is because upstairs is separate from downstairs. A lot of places are one big room, so they'll have the bed and the kitchen and the living space. It's all together. And I find it better when my bed is upstairs. I feel more productive that I'm not, like, sitting in bed and working, and I just like sitting in bed if it's close by. The only problems with this place are the drains, and it's hard to have friends around. Because <laughs> I'm like, welcome, sit down on the floor, stand up, and do nothing. Welcome! <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys, and if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up down below, or subscribe, or comment, or whatever you want to do. I make videos about Japan, about my life, about this tiny apartment, and just, just come chill with me. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Johnny!